Hello everyone, this is Jake Night 3 and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to use Google Cloud Connect. It's a free plugin for Microsoft Office and before we start we need to make sure you've got Microsoft Office and a Google account. So once you've made sure you've got that, we can get going. So I'm going to open up my web browser. I'm going to provide you a link to the page, but all you have to do to find is type in Google Cloud Connect. It should be the first thing that comes up. If not, uh, talk to me. But all we have to do, once the web page is open, is click download Google Cloud Connect. Now, I've already read through all this, so I don't need to do anything. Accept and install. Install. I had to drink for a bit so my mouth's a bit dry. Okay, I'm gonna pause the video. And I'll be right back. Okay, Google Cloud is finished installing. So I'm just gonna click close. And we're gonna keep Google up for the moment. But we're gonna go ahead and open up a Word document. Well, just so you guys know, this Google Cloud Connect works with uh, Office 2003, 2007, and 2010. And it will work with Microsoft Word, Microsoft PowerPoint, and Excel. So, once we get rid of that, we will see that we have this Google Cloud Connect bar. And what we're going to do, we're going to click Login and then connect our accounts with our Google or connect our plugin with our Google accounts I have no idea what it's doing now there we go so we're going to have to type in our email and password ok so once our accounts connected and you've typed in your passwords you want to grant it access for all this stuff and then here's some options you want to fill around with and this default sync settings for a new document, you want to do this. You can leave this, put this on menu, but I would uh, suggest putting it in automatic because it can be a lifesaver. So once you've done that, you'll be given this uh, screen, and you can choose some options. But all you have to do to get rid of this Google Cloud Connect bar is click this little arrow here and that will turn it into this little bar which is about half a centimeter thick so it doesn't obtrude anything at all and it's actually fantastic but we're just gonna open this up for demonstration purposes now all I'm going to do is type in some stuff that I'm saying and then click save. Now, you might notice that once I save this, we get this save to our computer and then this little green bar that goes across. Then now this is now synced with Google Cloud. This is where the fun stuff goes in. This will now give you a link right here we can copy link document see some stuff, sync mode, we can change all manner of settings right here there's even more we can share it with people but this is everything, we're going to open up our internet page again and just go to google documents as you can see this is now my home page we've automatically synced our word to our Google and you can access Google Documents in anywhere you are which is super fantastic so you can work from at home and then click save you don't need to worry about uploading it to a website and then you can just go to your work, school wherever you are and you can just find out click it here and you will have this document all set ready and loaded and it's actually pretty some pretty cool things you can do this now. You can actually send this to a workmate 
or a friend or whatever they are and they can edit the mistakes that you've put in. So if I click file uh, download now we can pretend this is a different user now. So once this is downloading downloaded we can open it up and this is the old document and this is the one we just downloaded which is the same document. Now all we have to do is get rid of this mistake and make some changes click save. Now this is saving we will get these options. Now we can make version 1 of a completely new document. Now this will be slightly different. This will be a new document clearly. And then version 2 which will update the one on the internet as well once it's saved. So we can close this down and we can close this down and now you can see this document is out of sync so we can click sync and then we get the options of replacing my copy with a new version which makes sense and this will now retrieve it from the internet and this is basically how you simultaneously edit your documents in a fantastic way, it's really useful, it saved my life a few times and as I said it works with Word, PowerPoint and Excel and also if you want to send this link to someone you can send it to them and it will just be a view and they won't be able to edit it and then change your version so it's really useful I really suggest everyone download this I've been Jacob 93 out Hopefully that's right. No. There we go. It's caps lock on. No. Really? Oh, this is a disaster. That's what I typed in first. Ugh.